Hello, and welcome to the Wayfaring Panda. I'm Annette. Today, I'm making a card for the Hello Bluebird challenge for the month of February. And so this is going to be a Valentine's card. And their challenge was to use the colors of fuchsia, red, pink, and white, and kind of do the traditional colors of Valentine's Day. So I did make this ahead of time, but the video is being posted after Valentine's Day. But you could do the same technique I'm doing here with other colors to make it for other holidays, or you can get ahead of the game and make it for next year's Valentine's. In any case, I'm going ahead and doing my sentiment, and I'm going to emboss it. So I'm using Distress Ink because that stays wet long enough to do embossing on. So I'm just stamping with a Hello Bluebird stamp set and it's just the word hugs and I'm going to go over that with some clear embossing powder and then heat it with my heat tool. I'm doing this video as part of a hop with Team Tiny and for the month of February our theme was to use either a background stamp or a stencil. So I'm using a stencil and this is a cloud stencil from Lawn Fawn. And my idea is to make the background all pink. And since I did embossing on my sentiment, it will resist the ink. And so I'm starting with my lighter colors on the top and going darker as I go down. So I'm starting with sponge sugar. I left some space in between with the sponge sugar so that I can do my next color backtracking a little bit so that I have alternating two colors and then get darker as I go down. So after I did the sponge sugar, then I switched to Kitsch Flamingo, and then I did Picked Raspberry, and my last color was Worn Lipstick. And then I decided there was a little bit more white space than I wanted, so then I went back over some of the areas with the different colors of pink. going to add some stenciling to add in some more um, red color. So I'm actually using two background stamps. And the stencil I made on my brother's scan and cut, and they're just different shapes of hearts that are all about the same size. So I'm actually using two background stencils. Then I'm going to use my Nouveau embellishment mousse. And this is actually kind of old, so it's really dried out. And that's the thing I don't like about the mousse is it does dry out really fast even though I've got my press and seal and it goes so far and I don't seem to use it that much. So I've started using texture paste that are white or clear. So then I just add color to it instead of having a bunch of different colors that you never finish up. So you'll see that it's kind of crumbly and it is hard to push in there. The other thing I don't like about the mousse and especially the red that it is very difficult to clean off. So I cleaned this as soon as I was finished, but it still took me a long time trying to scrub it off the stencil. Next, I used my Lawn Fawn Lacy Heart Stackables, the largest heart, to cut out some vellum in a heart shape. And I'm adding some Nouveau Glitter Accents to the bottom of it, and that'll bring in a, another white element, as well as give kind of a snowy mound for my animals to stand on. And I also thought that would give me a place to add adhesive on the back side so that it doesn't show through on the vellum. If you're not familiar with this product, I just seen it more recently, someone used, else using it, and I thought it'd be a good way to use for snow. It's sort of like the stickles. It has kind of a white tint to it. For my stamped image, I used Heavenly White cardstock, which is Copic friendly and I also use Lun Fun Jet Black Ink which is also Copic friendly and my stamped image comes from Hello Bluebird from their Big Hugs Woodland stamp set and of course this is a raccoon and a fox stamp and it came from the same set that the Hugs word came from. I'm just using my warm grays of Copics to color these in and just to let you know I colored my fox with YR colors later and I didn't like that that much on this card because of the red colors so then I switched to another image and colored a different color although I did save my orange one for a future card so I do like the YR colors for a fox but I didn't think it matched the card very well and I'll show that at the end of the video 
Now, I only use Warm Grays because those are the only Copics I have owned up until now. But recently, Hobby Lobby had a sale on their Copics and went, they were cleared out. So there may not be any at your local Hobby Lobby anymore. But you can check because they all kind of put them on sale at different times. But they were $7.99. They were on clearance for $1.99 each. So I did get some cool... And maybe, I think I got some neutrals also. So maybe in future videos, I'll try those out and we can see what the difference is. For the Fox's ear, I'm using E00 and E, and there's three zeros. And that's their Cotton Pearl and their Pale Fruit Pink. And I thought since they're a pale pink, that would go better with the card since it's a pink and red theme. For the main part of the fox, I start off with E17, which is reddish brass. And, of course, I picked these shades because they have a reddish tint to them. However, I didn't like, it wasn't as dark as I wanted, so then I switched to E18, which is copper, and then moved on to E17. I like to do my darker colors first and then blend out with my lighter colors. And then I switched um, to... E13 for my lighter color and then I decided that wasn't quite dark enough so then I kind of used E15 and then I kind of go back and forth with those four colors till I get the blend I like. Some people prefer to start with the lighter color and then move to the dark but whichever method works for you. I tried to use the darker colors around towards the bottom of the animal and like where their arms or feet would kind of come together where there would be a shadow. Then I did go back at one point back to my E00 because I forgot to color in his um, kind of the beard part, which I think would be lighter colored. Now at the end here, I'm just comparing the two images. I colored the first one, which was the YR color, the orangey red fox, with the reddish brown, and I decided the reddish brown looked best. I stamped the inside of my card with an old rubber stamp, which is Happy Valentine's Day, and I smudged it. So just where the smudge was, I just found a big red heart and stamped over the smudge so it didn't show up. So that's a way you can fix a mistake. So now I'm just taking some Nouveau Deluxe glue to put on the back of my panel that I already created and put it on the front of my card base. I'm attaching my stamped image with some glue dots. I figured that would raise it up a little bit. In hindsight, I think maybe I should have used foam squares because I do have some of those. Next, I'm going to add some, it looks like hearts that are flat backed and these are from Buttons Glore and More and they're called their Love Sparklets. I'm just adding these as extra decoration and to also bring in some more pink and red. And the other thing is it will give me another place to add adhesive to the back of my vellum. So I'm using some glossy accents. I find that kind of holds things better when you're using these heavier and slicker type objects. So I like to use glossy accents when I'm gluing down anything like buttons or sparklets and things like that. And then to adhere my heart to my card panel, I just put some glue dots behind all the sparklets and the image of my fox and raccoon and then behind the snow. Then I also added some Nouveau Deluxe glue behind my fox and where the snow is just for extra adhesive. I'll put a list of all the products that I'm using in the description below. Some of those will be affiliate links. They don't cost you anything extra to use, but I do get a small commission from any sales that those links generate, and that helps support my channel. Also, this is part of a hop, so check out the list below. So hop along and get more inspiration for using background stencils and background stamps. I hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please give it a like. And if you're not already a subscriber, I really appreciate if you can subscribe to my channel. If you are a subscriber, I want to thank you so much for your continued support. I hope everyone has a wonderful day. 